Oh my god, okay, I can do this. <laughs> a little bird told me that you really, really like. Yes! Oh my god, is that a surprise? Is he there? Please come out. Please come out. Please come oh out. Oh my god! No way! Hi everybody, my name is Raisa and welcome to my very first cooking show. Thank you very much. Today uh, is a very special day. We're going to have a cook-off with um, a very special friend of mine, Sam Kim. Hi Sam, annyeonghaseyo. Hello guys, my name is Sam Kim. Hello semua, aku Sam Kim. Senang bertemu kalian. Okay, as you all know, uh, Sam and I have our new song, Someday. And I thought today would be a great opportunity to talk about the song with Sam while we're cooking a tasty meal. Today we're, we'll be making two different noodle-based dishes. One is mm -hmm. Indonesian and one is Korean. So I will be making the Korean dish. Uh -huh. It's chapche, And you will be making a classic Indonesian bihun goreng. Bihun goreng. Ooh. Yes. We'll be guiding each other along with the step-by-step, -step, but with a twist. For every recipe step, you must answer a question while cooking. So let's, let's do get it. it. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. Chop the bok choy and cabbage. The bok choy. Leaves. Okay, so. And while you're let's doing see. that, I have a question for you. How did our collaboration begin? Basically, what I, how I remember it was you contacted my company and then you asked me if I can if I can write a song for you. And then I listened to your voice and I was like, oh my goodness. How is she a person like this asking me to write a song for her? And I, I was really excited. That's how it started. And then I knew the second I heard your voice, uh, I wanted to make something very like diva-like and very sassy. I don't know if you know this, but this is my first time making a song for somebody outside of Korea. Yes, you told me. I, I really just wanted to get to know the person before I write a song for them. I found out that you're not only a great singer, but you're just, as a human being, you're a wonderful person. So I, just the conversations that we had, it was, it was a really fun time writing the song. Okay, next question is, what is the song Someday about? Someday is about a couple that is... Sorry, I'm cutting carrots right now. I can't multitask. <laughs> Girl, I am cooking biyun goreng right now. You can't be interviewing me. <laughs> Through my perspective, Someday is about this couple who is in a the end of their relationship and they're thinking about whether to hold on or to let go because they're both have quite a big ego. A couple that's pretty much on their last few legs. Mm. And, you know, I love you. And when it's good, it's really good. Mm. But when it's bad, it's, it's really bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it sucks. And like you said, they're both very, very stubborn and very prideful. And mm. so I think the chorus of the song explains it pretty well where it's like, can you just tell me everything that you want to say? Just tell me that you love me. That's what I want to hear. Crush it and chop it. Okay, the third question is easy. What was the last song you listened to? The last song that I listened to was Through the Fire by Shaka Khan. Through the fire, through it ever <laughs> I had my own diva moment. I was in a soju kind of mood. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Okay, next question. You have um, previously worked with Chuk Jae on Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. What was it like working with him again? Working with Chuk Jae is always a treat because I always, every single time that I work with him, I'm able to learn something new. Even working on him with Sun and Moon, I would say it was the most nerve-wracking thing because it was my first time working on something with somebody else other than mm. in my company, Antenna. But anyways, yeah, working with him again on Someday was a real treat. It was a lot of fun. Everything you guys did on this song is just 
very perfectly curated. It's not mm -hmm. too much, but it's not missing anything. We, we had a lot of aha moments with the lyrics. Oh yeah. Because we'll be like in front of the camera for like three hours and just like blank. Just completely blank and then... Suddenly one of us was like, how about this? And then it was like, ding, aha moment. That, that one part where it's like, tell me, fight for me, and it's written to try. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, was a, that was another aha moment, right? All right, I, I just quickly cut the cabbage and I diced all the meat. I completely forgot to cut the cabbage. I forgot to cut the cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to cut the cabbage. All right, that's our, that's our new single. So you write songs in English and in Korean. Mm -hmm. Are there any differences when, when writing in English and Korean? Definitely, there's a lot of differences because they're two different languages, you know? I would say when I write in English, not only is it because I'm more comfortable with the English language, but when I write in English, I'm a little bit more poetic. Mm. And when I write in Korean, I'm a little bit more straightforward. I'm the other way around. In Indonesian, I'm far more poetic. It's harder by all means to write in Indonesian for me because it's just not casual. I think mm. writing in English, you can be casual. Like you can say something like, a man who gives a damn one more than you. You can't say that in Indonesian. Right? Exactly. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's, more, it's mm -hmm. more difficult in Indonesian, but I can write more poetic. Frankly, in English, you can sound cooler, easier. The sweet soy sauce, okay. I think this should be enough. This is, this is looking not too bad. It smells really good. I'm afraid I'm gonna overcook the chicken though. Uh, or maybe you can add, <laughs> I'm only playing it by ear now. Maybe you can add a little bit of chicken stock so that it doesn't go dry. Just a little bit. I wish you can smell this because this smells really good. <laughs> okay, great. What does koreng mean? Because when I hear a lot of Indonesian foods, they end with koreng. That's, that's really bad because goreng means fried. Oh, really? <laughs> so like, we literally fry everything. Maybe that's why it's so good though. It's a little <laughs> yeah. naughty, but that's why it's probably so good. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. The question is a bit saucy. You can answer this or not. Was there a special someone that came to mind when writing the lyrics? Ooh. Well, I know the answer. It's me, right? Honestly, who else would I be thinking about? Exactly. That's why <laughs> I wanted to like know everything about you while I was writing about this. Thank you very much. I'm very honored for this <laughs> award right now. No, but honestly, Sam, uh, working with you has been amazing and it's, it really sets the standard for whoever I'm working with next because I did collaborations here and there, but your involvement in this collab is just next level. Oh. And you really, you really took the time to get to know me and to just Revise everything that doesn't feel right. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I'm so focused on perfecting this, this koreng that I feel like I'm not giving you enough attention right now. How does it look like? Is it dry already? Um, just a little bit. It's starting to like really fry up now. Mm. Great, that's what I want. So that's basically the dish. Uh, can you show us? Your dish, please. Sam's Bihun Goreng. It looks authentic. It really looks good. I'm gonna try it real quick. Yes, please try it. Because I'm really curious. It looks like what we made in our ho in our homes. How does it taste like? That's really good. That's good, 
right? That's really good. I'm really proud of myself. I'm proud of you. Book, book, book. So now it's your turn to make our traditional dish. Chapte. So it's my time. All right, Riza. Now we're going to switch the rules and yes. you're going to make our traditional food. Chapte. Are you ready? Chapte. I'm ready. I'm going to ask you the first question. Were there any challenges when you were working with me on the song? I already the think I know the answer. <laughs> I already think I know the answer. And I'm sorry. The challenges. It's just that um, we're so far away from each other and we even use um, different chat platforms. Mm -hmm. And so we keep missing each other. Sometimes it's hard to contact each other. And what I mean by each other is you. <laughs> <laughs> I was being nice. <laughs> no, but, but it's cool. It's cool. I know everyone has their own schedule. We want it to be the best version of, of the song that, that we can do. And if it takes time, then so be it. If you had the opportunity to make an OST for a K-drama, and I know you watch a lot of K-dramas, right? I know. Which drama would you choose and why? I'm going to choose another one that you are also in the OST. OST. Oh, really? Yes, because Goblin is my favorite. Tokebi. Mmm, Tokebi. For sure. A little bird told me that you really, really like Iminho. Yes! Oh my god, is that a surprise? Is he there? <laughs> Please come out. Please come out, Iminho. Please welcome. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> is he really not there? He's not, but next time, I will make sure to call him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ooh, smells great already. This is this might be a little random, but mm -hmm. I really want to see who can go higher in our vocal skills. So are you ready to lose? I'm re <laughs> I'm ready. C D E F G Oh my god, okay, I can do this. <laughs> this is rigged. This is so rigged. I, I'm not happy <laughs> with this game because I can't win. This is definitely rigged. Okay, what's my next question? I'm very curious about this. If you can give me an Indonesian nickname, what would it be? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know an Indonesian nickname. The first thing that pops into my head if I were to give you a Korean nickname would be, let's say if I were like older than you and uh. I was like an oppa to you, I would probably call you Kyomdun. What's that? It means cutie. Aww, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will call you Dede because I'm Technically, I'm older than you. Mm -hmm. Although I don't, I don't look it. <laughs> so I'll call you Dede Sam. But maybe people will call you like Babang Sam. Gitu. <laughs> That's really random. Three second rule. While you do that, think of the answer for this next question. Mm. Mm. If you could go on a worldwide tour, where would you go? first? Well, this is a really easy question because of course the answer is Korea. Oh really? Of course because we get to perform the song together. You're just saying that because you want to meet Imino. <laughs> no but honestly because I can meet you and we can sing this song together that would be a mm -hmm. dream. If you could go on a on a tour where would you go? I would definitely go to Indonesia. 
I didn't know this, but I have a lot of fans there. Yes, you do. I, I didn't know that. And so when I found out, it's like, yeah, of course I wanna, I wanna go to a place where like I can interact with my fans and sing with them. I think to be able to sing a song where everybody at the concert knows my lyrics would be like such an amazing feeling. I can't wait to one day hold a concert there. Someday. Someday. I see. Someday. <laughs> We're gonna make that happen. I think this is cooked. Let me try. Okay, so this is the sesame oil. Oh my god! This smells so good. Mm -hmm. While adding the sugar, can you sing a part from Someday? Show me a fight for me and these pretend to try. To try. Let's add some more sugar. Let's just add a little bit more sugar. We're yeah. out of sugar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we added a little too much sugar. Isn't this supposed to be savory? It's okay. We just all we need to do is add more soy sauce. All right. Oh my god, the thing is I know what this is supposed to taste like, so I'm mm. putting up the pressure on myself. I can actually make this at home. That looks that looks like tapse. It looks really good. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Now that you tasted chapche, do you think there's any similarities between the chapche and the the bihun goreng? Yeah, it, it has that little bit of sweetness. Sometimes when making bihun, you also use the um, sesame oil, so that that makes it more similar. But this is this tasting good. Mm. What would you rate my dish at a ten? That's a nine. That's a nine. That's a nine. Ooh. What about me? I don't know how it tastes, but looks ten out of ten. Perfect. You did perfect. so perfectly. Woo! And you too. Thank you for teaching me how to make bean goreng today. Yes, this is so much fun. Are there any words that you want to say to your fans? This is a collaboration that I've been waiting for and we've been working on for a year and a half so i really hope that everyone would enjoy this song and if they're feel, feeling anything similar to the lyrics of the song i hope they their relationship gets better um is there anything you want to say to your fans well i learned how to make pion quoting today it'll come in handy when i go to indonesia one day to hold a concert thank you guys so much for for waiting for so long. I know I had a really long hiatus of not releasing any music due to some personal issues, but I'm finally starting to make more music now and I'm even working with wonderful artists like Riza. And so, yeah, thank you so much for waiting for all this time. I love y'all, thank you. Tell me all of the things you say you know you'd never hear from me again Show me a fight for me at least pretend to try